New technology from a Bay Area company could help millions of women recover more quickly after breast cancer surgery. And one of its biggest advantages is that it puts you in control. ABC7 News health and science reporter Carolyn Johnson has the story. You know, basically because you have an early stage cancer and you're okay. not going to need radiation. Okay. And, and it's been just 72 hours since Beverly Jacoby underwent a double mastectomy for breast cancer, but she's already in the process of restoring her body. This I can do in the privacy of my own home, at my own pace. During Beverly's surgery, Dr. Kamakshi Zeidler implanted a device known as an expander under each breast area. They're used to stretch out the scar tissue over time and create space for reconstructive implants. But the expanders in Beverly's chest will accomplish that in a unique way. Press the button to turn it on. It lights up saying that I'm on. Let me hold this over where your expander is. A radio frequency remote will allow Beverly to inflate the devices herself, controlling the pace at which they expand in her chest. It's very easy to use. Um, it's, it's literally the press of two buttons. One button to turn it on, the remote finds and connects to the expander. She presses the same, the middle button, and the dose is delivered. Scott Dodson is CEO of the Palo Alto company Air Expanders, which makes the device. He says each implant contains a tiny reservoir of compressed CO2 gas, which delivers the inflation. He says it's an alternative to traditional expanders, which require doctors to place a needle into the breast area every few weeks and inject saline into the implant to increase its size. Now, instead of using the needle to go into the device, the patient's going to use this small handheld dose controller. Dr. Zeidler says patients typically apply three small doses a day, which are less likely to cause pain. They're not subject to the needle and the discomfort, and, and they can go at their own pace. Even so, the company says early data from their clinical trials suggests that women typically reach the optimal expansion for breast reconstruction in less time using the system. That women achieve full expansion in about 15 days as opposed to several months. When enough space is created, doctors will remove the air expanders and place the permanent implants she's been waiting for. It means a lot to me to be, to be whole again, like I'm sure every woman out there. The company hopes to have results from their latest trial ready to submit for approval by the end of the year.